With the passing of legendary writer, illustrator, character, and monster designer Akira Toriyama and composer Koichi Sugiyama, the future of Dragon Quest is looking bleak. Before we go any further, I would like to thank Toriyama-san for all of his life's work. Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball brought joy and passion to my childhood and shaped who I am today. His stories of grand adventures, incredible characters, and his monster designs, which were literally the driving force for me to progress in an old NES JRPG before I was old enough to read, changed my life forever. I've said it before, but the chance to see new monsters was what made me want to get further every time I played the original Dragon Warrior as a kid. I didn't know who Akira Toriyama was, I didn't even know what Dragon Ball was yet. These simple yet iconic designs drew us in back on the NES and Famicom, and are still a large selling factor of the series today. I'm always excited to see what new ideas Toriyama whipped up for the next batch of monsters introduced to the franchise. Now people will argue that Toriyama's work can be easily replicated or whatever, but that's not really the goal here, is it? It's not the previous incredible monsters and characters that we'll be missing out on, it's the new ones. All these fantastic designs up until now have been from the mind of Akira Toriyama. Who's going to be able to match such iconic ideas and designs as the Ham Shamwich, the Paui Yaoi, and characters like the heroes from Dragon Quest IV, Saro, Yangus, and Silvando? Yuji Horii has released a statement on the passing of Toriyama and seems to be in absolute shock and sadness like the rest of us. Yuji Horii himself is no spring chicken. I've heard people say that Dragon Quest can continue even after Akira Toriyama and Yuji Horii are no longer the driving force. But most of these people are relating it to Final Fantasy, where the development team and quality can drastically change from entry to entry. Dragon Quest isn't Final Fantasy. It's kept the same core team from the first game into even most of the spin-offs. Yuji Horii and Akira Toriyama are the heart and soul of the Dragon Quest franchise, and nothing will ever change that. Look at the massive downfall of Final Fantasy since the great Hironobu Sakaguchi left the development team. Do we even want that to happen to Dragon Quest? I know this isn't the most uplifting video I've made, but we do need to think about Dragon Quest's future, and if there even is one after Dragon Quest XII. We can pretty much guarantee that Dragon Quest XII will be completed in memory and honor of both Akira Toriyama and Koichi Sugiyama. We also might have to come to terms with the fact that Dragon Quest XII may just be the last entry in the Dragon Quest series, and consider if we would even want a Dragon Quest game made by another team. This has never been a series that was passed around and changed into something else entirely, but labeled as Dragon Quest solely to boost sales. Dragon Quest has been incredibly consistent with its charm, quality world building, and storytelling. This is because of its base team. I ask you to let us all know in the comments, do you think Dragon Quest XII will be the last in the franchise? Or perhaps the last one that feels like a true Dragon Quest game, or would you even want the series to continue after Akira Toriyama, Koichi Sugiyama, and Yuji Horii are no longer the key figures? With Famitsu's recent physical launch sales of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth revealed to be doing around 16% worse than the already dismal Final Fantasy XVI's, I would hope that Square Enix finally gives their head a shake and properly promotes Dragon Quest XII. Because after XII's out, it might be the last successful bigger budget game we ever get from them. And that happening to a company I once loved is terrifying. If you enjoy Dragon Quest content, please remember to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Thank you for watching. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. You'll be missed, but never forgotten.